The Attorney General for Northern Ireland has ordered a new inquest into the police murder of Michael Leonard, an unarmed civilian from Pedigo who was murdered in May 1973. This is another landmark decision by the Attorney General but it is a bittersweet victory for Michael's family as the decision was given on the day before Britain's Legacy Act would stop all conflict related inquests. So after campaigning tirelessly and with great dignity now for over half a century Michael's family are given access to truth and justice one day and then the very next day the British state steals that away. The Attorney General Brenda King ordered the new inquest have been taken into account quote number one the original inquest did not receive oral evidence from any of the police officers involved in the incident two the inquest verdict of misadventure three new evidence in the form of army logs which are capable of casting doubt on the version of events provided to the inquest by the police four the decision by the director of public prosecutions not to exercise his powers under section 35 subsection 5 of the Justice Northern Ireland Act 2002. 5. The fact that there are ongoing investigations by the Legacy Investigation Branch of the PSNI and the Police Ombudsman for Northern Ireland which have not been concluded. End quote. The Royal Ulster Constabulary testified at the original inquest that one of its officers not in attendance at the inquest had accidentally fired a single shot that had hit Michael. Now discoveries that I made in London and Dublin archives prove that the RUC lied and its officers fired multiple shots at the unarmed civilian, chased him in their vehicle and then deliberately shot him as he neared the sanctuary of the Irish Republic and his home in Pettigold, County Donegal. The British files also proved that RUC headquarters and the General Officer Command in the British Army in Northern Ireland knew the true circumstances of the unlawful killing of an Irish citizen. Nevertheless, the British Armed Forces lied to the family, the public, the coroner at the original inquest and the Irish government. The family has liaised directly with the Irish government's Minister for Foreign Affairs, Tanisha Micheál Martin, to seek justice for Michael as he was an Irish citizen. The family welcomes the Attorney General's decision, but like so many other bereaved families who have fought for truth and justice for so long, they now face the terrible reality that Britain will not let this inquest go ahead as it wants to protect its killers. So our fight for truth and justice will continue regardless. The murder of Michael Leonard by the RUC in May 1973 was a dastardly crime and a cynical cover-up, not an accident as the RUC and British officials claimed. The British state covered it up for 51 years and its Legacy Act covers it up today. The Legacy Act must be repealed as it's an affront to the rule of law. It is a tribute to the love of Michael's family and the tireless support of their legal team that the Attorney General ordered a new inquest into the RUC murder of their loved one. Britain is a serial human rights abuser, so it is only right that the Irish government fights Britain's shameful legacy act in European court. Michael was an Irish citizen, murdered by a foreign police force close to the sanctuary of the Irish border and his home in Pedigo, County Donegal.